everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome back to the Hamilton Let's Play. Today we are starting with the Mullet Honeymoon and they both really, really, really need to use the toilet. <laughs> so I placed this very pretty home into the Granite Falls world. So they're going to be staying here for a little bit in like a winter wonderland. This house is called a French country home or something and I thought like, Lafayette, country home, it will be perfect. If I can find the creator, I will link it in the description so you can also download the house if you want to. But let's help these two out a little. They're still feeling quite happy and inspired and all of the good stuff uh, from their wedding. Uh, let's see if we do. It's so cozy and cute, isn't it? It's not exactly a villa as the vote kind of suggested, but also like, look at how freaking adorable this is, right? It's so cozy and cute. It's perfect. It's literally perfect for a uh, honeymoon situation because it's like romantic and it's winter out, but it's warm inside. And I think they have a fireplace. I very much hope they have a fireplace. Okay, let's have them use the toilets at the same time. How romantic. <laughs> After they use the toilet, they can light the multiple fireplaces even oh there's another toilet downstairs didn't even see that one uh but they can light both of the fireplaces for some cozy warmth in the house hopefully that actually helps with the heat oh hello friends i am Arif. Arif, your friendly forest ranger i'm chock full of camping knowledge so if you ever have any questions don't hesitate to ask thank you we not we're not really camping though so i think they will be fine look at these sad sunflowers my favorites they're dying and covered in snow should we move them <laughs> is that actually a thing we should do i am quite scared for this fireplace lighting situation because uh as we know they're not very good with fire, but I'm gonna have... I just really, really want them to light the fireplaces because it's such a cute, freaking cute interaction. And it's so... Like, it's nice they can just sit in the couch and warm up. You're not gonna go on social media. I am so sorry, but you're on a honeymoon. Let's sit together, actually. You're missing your work. I'm aware of that. Sit together, right? And have a cuddle. <laughs> Let's do that instead. How about that? <laughs> Let's do some romantic honeymoon stuff. Ooh, New Year's Eve. The uh, event starts tomorrow. I'm, I, th I think I'm gonna do something with that. Like actually invite people over to the, their honeymoon location and have a New Year's Eve party here. Because it's quite perfect for that. But for now, you know, let's just have them hang out. Because it is their honeymoon after all. Let's do some cutesy stuff. Look at how nicely decorated this is. It's so cute. Okay, so let's see what kind of interactions we can do. Sitting down, let's whisper sweet nothings. And I'm afraid <laughs> to, to do a kiss again. If you remember what happened in the last episode. Uh, Benzer with old friend. Some friendly stuff. Tickle mercilessly. Tease flirtation. Snuggle. That's the one I was looking for. That is the cute one. Aww. Adorable. They're cute together. We can woohoo. We're definitely going to do that because it is their honeymoon. We kind of have to <laughs> look deeply into eyes. Let's see. I want to find the snuggle option again. Wait, wait, wait. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I missed it. Where's the snuggle option? Snuggle, 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 snuggle. Where's the snuggle one? Snuggle. There we go. That's make a move. Isn't that cute? <laughs> look at them. So adorable in their honeymoon home. Having a good time. I don't like the ring he's wearing. Uh, that's the creepy ring that I do not like. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's just ignore it. I don't know if that's their choice of wedding ring. But, um, yeah, not a fan. No, that's not their wedding ring. <laughs> that's the other one they have on. Aw, snuggling together. So cute. Look at them adorable. Having the greatest honeymoon of all time. Well, it's currently 10.45 a.m. They are feeling quite hungry and apparently there's food in the fridge or something. Oh no, they have they have a bunch of food in their inventory, don't they? Should we put this in the fridge? So they have stuff to eat for the rest of the trip. Like literally for the rest of the trip. For all of the people that are, that are going to be here with the New Year's celebration. And also we have fireworks still in our inventory. So even that is just completely... Hi, Mariah Lewis and 
as a caterer. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's see. Open. Let's have unpack one of these, and you also unpack one of these, and then eat them. Because I think you're both hungry. Unpack sack lunch. Did it all spoil? Oh no, it's all spoiled! Oh, so much effort for nothing! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, unpack another one. Maybe that one is good. Still. Uh, probably not though. <laughs> and these... Wait, wh where is it? Are those spoiled too? Those didn't look spoiled, right? Spoiled. Yeah, they're all gonna be spoiled, aren't they? <laughs> uh, all that effort for literally nothing. Uh, okay, can you... Uh, Mulligan is the one who can cook, right? He's the one who's allowed to cook. Uh, can you serve brunch then? Have some pancakes? French toast? It even has the option twice. French toast in our French home with our French sim. <laughs> of course. Of course Mulligan is gonna make some French toast for Lafayette. Oh, what is happening? What is? What, what am I doing? Okay. And Lafayette is watching TV. Is there a TV? Oh, I didn't even notice that. He is watching the news. Oh, he's watching a talk show. I mean, sure. <laughs> He, as long as he doesn't just spend his entire time on social media, I am sort of okay with him watching TV. I mean, Mulligan is cooking anyway, so that's okay. And he's very playful at the moment. Should we have him calm down, maybe? He's also feeling a little bit homesick. He apparently really does like their home. <laughs> Can we have him calm down in a mirror somewhere? I don't want him to get, like, hysterical. That would not be a good thing. Let's try to calm down in the mirror upstairs. And then at some point... Oh, wait, no, Mulligan is done. Wait, okay, calm yourself down in the mirror and grab grab one of these, pick up a serving and go sit down next to Mulligan, next to your husband. Something we can now officially say, guys. <laughs> next to his husband, eating away at the dinner table. So do we want to do some more winter activities? Maybe build a snowman together? We're outside here anyway. Oh, he's just about done eating. Oh, that's a shame. Wait, don't no, pick up your food. Go eat. Go eat your food. He made French toast for you. You should eat it. Wait, where? Oh, did I move it? Is that why it didn't work anymore? <laughs> Am I the problem here? Probably. <laughs> what kind of quality is it? I think Mulligan has a little bit of um, a skill, right? Oh, it's excellent. Good job, Mulligan. Good job. I think he does have a little bit of a skill. He's going to nap probably. Yeah, they're probably going to nap together. Wait, no, 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 stop, stop, wait. I have a better idea. He's happy because it's a snow day, is, it, is he? Oh, let it snow from being inside while snowing. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, I just want to see your skills. I think, yeah, he has like level five cooking skill. That's pretty good. So he's one of the Sims who is allowed to cook. But I want you guys to boohoo because they're going to fall asleep after anyway. They always do. <laughs> So if you guys woohoo, we get that out of the way, like the actual like honeymoon part of the honeymoon. Wait, no, stop! You were supposed to woohoo! Woohoo, please! Woohoo, it's woohoo time! And as usual, they have fallen asleep. <laughs> but Lafayette is up again, feeling really good, <laughs> doing his usual move. So maybe it's not... It's 3 p.m. now, so maybe if you... Oh, he's, he's feeling quite tired still, so maybe that's not a good thing. I see some free hot dogs over here. Maybe we can put those in the fridge. Can you do that for me, Lafayette? Wait, no, that's Malkin. Can you do that for me, Lafayette? Just put them not in your inventory. Just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Can you put them away? In the fridge, please. Okay, so he's, al he's allowed to go on social media for just like a tiny little bit. I'm allowing it because Mulligan is currently sleeping. So he can update his social status. Let me know in the comments what he's probably saying. Like, ah, I just got married or uh, honeymoon times. I don't know. Do you guys have any suggestions? What should he say on social media? <laughs> then I also just want to do a quick vote that is unrelated to this honeymoon but probably something you've been waiting for for a little bit because it's something i want to move forward with in the future and that is the official Meliza vote so do we want mariah and eliza to be in a relationship together yes or no and if the vote turns out to be yes maybe maybe they can have a little bit of a new year's kiss next episode maybe that's their first kiss moment 
that's a pretty perfect moment to have as your first kiss. Okay, let's have them both wake up, put on their winter clothing, and maybe build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> um, Outfits, change outfits, change into cold weather outfits. And then Lafayette, can you, are you cold? Are you okay? You seem quite cold. And also change into your cold weather outfit. And maybe I can build here. That's kind of the problem. Can they heat up next to the fire? Probably, right? Warm self. Yeah, we should do that sometimes. Because we don't have a thermostat in our home. But since we're in our outside wear anyway, we can build a little bit of a snow pal. It's getting quite dark already. It's going so fast. The first day as, as a married couple almost over. They kind of got married on Christmas. That's what, where Christmas was supposed to be, wasn't it? Or Winterfest, sorry. Whatever you celebrate at winter, pretty much. That's when they got married. And now they're building a little bit of a snow pal together. So cute. Yay! It's a snow pal! <laughs> They built quite an interesting one. I don't think it really... Does this fit their aesthetic? I don't know. I'm not sure. But let's make sure they warm themselves by the fire a little bit. So they stay nice and warm and heated. So they don't freeze from the cold. So let's both have them warm themselves. Let their hands warm up a little bit. Since they just built a snowman. Look at them together. Staying warm. Oh, they're so adorable. The mullet honeymoon, you guys! It's the mullet honeymoon! <laughs> Make a flirtatious joke, maybe. Uh, joke about politicians. <laughs> uh, I know who they might be joking about if they're gonna joke about politicians. There's there's a couple couple of good options in there. We have we have a couple of politicians in Hamilton. Compliment his appearance, maybe. Um, anything else we can do? Blow a kiss. Oh, so cute! Should they kiss? I want them to kiss. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's something I last time I was very uncomfortable with, but I want them to kiss. They have to kiss. It's it's they do they just have to. It wouldn't be a Hamilton honeymoon if they didn't kiss. I feel like that's just at this point a requirement, right? But that's gonna be it for the first day of their honeymoon. Let me know if you want to see anything else while they are on their honeymoon. And also don't forget to vote in the eye in the corner if you want Marilisa to be a thing or not. And let me know in the comments why you want that or why you don't want that. And that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye!